There is a new version of Subtitle Edit, Subtitle Edit 4.0.7 and this is what I'd kind of refer to as a silent release because normally we do get uh, like uh, an issue set up here where we can test out for bugs and so on and so forth but in this release we did not have that so uh, there's a new version and uh, it's more or less a minor bug fix release uh, the following highlights uh, but I feel one of the highlights that has been missed is the option to generate transparent video with subtitles which is a really huge addition in subtitle edit now uh, you can fix auto translate crash there's added support for faster whisper xsl added new subtitle formats now you can check out the change log and it's this one uh, to see the other options that are available right inside here so as i've mentioned uh, the most important one in my own view is generate transparent video with subtitles this is really handy and I've actually done a video on it. Uh, but since I did a video, there have been some improvements uh, that we're going to check out uh, in a couple of seconds now. You can edit, modify selection line length, support for faster whisper, XSL, added audio settings for text to speech final video file. This is also more or less uh, going to be a really awesome thing. Added subtitle format, podcast indexer, JSON, added new subtitle format, and then we have uh, the new Anthropic Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model uh, has also been added. Uh, so that's good. And then some improvements for the language translations. And then the MPV player has been updated, uh, the YouTube download, and also uh, add decimals to few average statistics. And then we've got some fixed issues here where we have auto translate that was crashing has been fixed. Uh, crash in VOSC audio to text on selected lines and just another ton of things fixed about for TTS Azure and 11 labs UI fix for volume text in video player uh, more or less yeah everything else uh, looks good so it's really good to have that now for you to download this you need to come to the releases page uh, right here and I'll leave the links below and you can see it was released uh, 15 hours ago Let's click on the releases just scroll down slightly and if you download the setup.exe you may get a notification that uh, the program is not recognized there is a warning and so on and so forth but it is a safe program you can always keep it anyway it's actually going to give you that option but if you don't want to get that notification download the zip file and then extract it and you'll get the exe that you can now install on your computer now that's the releases page uh so let's look at what's more or less of importance to us uh it's subtitle ready 4.0.7 yep it's the one and as i mentioned we've got the option to generate transparent video with subtitles so to do this i'll need a video and the corresponding subtitle for this video open keep video so it's right there looking good and what this essentially does is it generates a video with the subtitles and without uh, the video that is right here with more or less an alpha so what it means is that you can actually take the generated video with trans transparent or or the generated transparent video with subtitles and just put it on top of now the original video in a video editing application uh, to actually make sure that your subtitles look like you want them to look like in that particular uh, video. Now, uh, this is really awesome and I can actually just do a quick test. And this is what the interface looks like and I think this slight UI is an upgrade. Uh, something I requested uh, was to be able to have like a preview and also a batch option. Uh, unfortunately, with this release that, that has not been uh, included so this is the original post uh, for this one uh, where this particular request was made uh, more or less like three weeks ago and I made my requests like this can you have a preview window like we have in uh, in the banning uh, feature option and then batch mode generate transparent video with subtitles uh, if I only need to use the generate transparent video subtitle feature it does not prompt to download FMPEG can you make this available uh yeah so but of importance here were these two options a preview window for example if i come back here like we have a preview window 
to see what uh, these particular subtitles will look like so that you can adjust the font size because in real sense you're burning in the subtitles to a transparent video so if you'd actually be able to do this right inside here and make sure that everything is set up as you want it to be it would be really really awesome next up if you also have uh, more or less like a batch mode and you have a ton of videos that you'd like to generate transparent video with subtitles for then you can do that super super easily but hopefully uh, later on uh, down the road we're going to get that uh, and as always uh, I'm not so sure okay it's also missing the use uh, source resolution yeah I've noticed it's missing right here uh, but uh, luckily it's recognizing that the video is in 1920 by 1080 and you can also see that right here so let's click on generate and then let's save let's open the containing folder uh, actually one mistake I did this as an mp4 and if I play it yes you'll see the subtitles but for applications like a Camtasia they're not going to recognize the mp4 with uh, subtitles so let me just delete these two files and then go to generate the savers type make it to mov this is actually going to be recognized by applications like Camtasia uh, uh, right inside and you can see uh, what is going to happen just save it's going to burn in the subtitles again as a transparent video if I just click, it's more or less the same thing, but now this one is easily acceptable in applications like Camtasia uh, because it's the MOV with alpha and so on and so forth. So uh, that is out of the way. Hopefully we'll get a preview window of sorts here. Uh, and then obviously you can see we have a new edition. You can select a couple of lines, uh, selected and subsequent lines. Uh, so it's easy to actually work on this. And if you wanted to provide or maybe just generate a section of subtitles for a particular uh, video with a transparent uh, video, then you can use some of this. It's really, really awesome. And as I mentioned, we've got we also got auto translate. Uh, we've got Anthropic Cloud, and the model 3.5 Sonnet has been added. So you'll need an API key to use this. So just make sure you get that. Uh, what else have we seen? We've also seen, uh, let's go to text-to-speech. Uh, you now have custom audio encoding settings. You can have the different encodings right inside here. AAC, whatever. If you know what you're doing, just go with this. But if you don't know, leave it as copy. You can also set it to stereo. Really depends on what uh, you want, the text-to-speech feature, uh, or the type of voice that you want to work with right inside there so it's really awesome that you can actually now also have uh, your preferred settings for the audio uh, what else I think let me look at this generate video with band in subtitle I also noticed that I don't know if it's just me but this window is just too big for the default uh, if I try to kind of let me see if it's actually going to work bring it down okay I think it's going to work yeah doesn't look so bad but that's the maximum uh, size that you can leave it to uh, that's not too bad uh, it's also a new kind of more or less UI uh, upgrade right here so it's really really awesome to have this uh, right inside here uh, I wish these options would be like a little bit on the side here so we can have more real estate for the preview uh, uh, it would be really awesome but obviously the preview has this particular maximize button which i'm more or less saying in the generate transparent video subtitles can we also have this and also can we have batch mode in generate video with transparent uh, subtitles and so on and so forth so that's subtitle edit 4.0.7 it was more or less a silent release uh, but my main feature is generate transparent video subtitles it's really awesome to have that in this particular release go test it out and i hope it's of value to you thanks for watching